Hi guys, I've had some requests to do a cloth diaper types video, so I'm going to do that um, in an effort to make this more concise. I'm not going to talk about all the different variations within each type, like fabric type and different options, because it would be just really long. So I'm just going to go over the basics of what each system means and what I consider to be the pros and cons. So we're going to start with flats, fitteds, and prefolds. And all three of these require the use of a waterproof cover. So a modern cloth diaper cover looks like this. This kind of replaces the old vinyl um, pants. So it has a way to close it in the front. And then it's made up of a waterproof material because the first three diapers, flats, fitteds, and prefolds, are not waterproof. So they need something to make sure the pee doesn't go through onto baby's clothes. So. A flat is just like the original old school granny diaper. Just a big old single layer of cotton. And it's not waterproof, so again, it needs the cover. You can use it um, a couple different ways. One popular way to use it is to just fold it up into a square and then fold it into a rectangle. And then you can just lay it inside a waterproof cover it's very sloppy looking, but um, pretend this looks nice and neat. Lay it into a cover and attach to baby. Another way you can do it is folding it up. There are endless ways to fold flats to get different sizes and different shapes for different babies. And then you can um, fold them up and put them on your baby. This is called a snappy. It kind of replaces the um, more traditional pins. And you can also use something called the boingo, which there's two of them that goes one on each side. So um, this is a flat diaper. I personally like <laughs> totally adore flats. Some benefits to flats are they're very inexpensive. They're around $3 each. You can get them really easily in organic cotton and natural fibers. They are super easy to wash and keep clean because it's just one layer for um, the detergent water to penetrate through. So it's just, you don't get buildup and stink issues and they dry really quickly. Um, and it's a natural fiber. So that's another advantage. Some, um, and another really big advantage, sorry, is that you can just get one size and fit from like newborn all the way through. Um, the biggest disadvantage is just it's a little bit extra work because you have to do some folding, you know, like, but the rectangle is really easy to fold. Or if you wanted to fold them, um, then you can fold them onto your baby. But that could also be seen as an advantage because it's really fun to do all the different things that you can do <laughs> to fold it on your baby. So that's the first type. The second type is called a prefold diaper. It's a very misleading name. Um, it's basically like a flat diaper just folded up a bunch of times and then they um, sew a panel through here and here and then it's thicker here in the middle and then it's thinner here on the outside. It just depends on what brand you're getting, like how thick it is. But um, similar to a flat, you can just fold it up and lay it in a cover and then fold that onto your baby or you can also fold it and attach it onto your baby this way. Um, some similar pros to prefolds like flats is that they are easier to clean because they're just um, cotton, but they are thicker, especially in the middle, so they're not as easy to clean. They also um, take longer to dry because they are thicker, but they're inexpensive also around three dollars each and natural fibers which is awesome and I guess the pro I mean the con the other con would be the same um, just that it requires a little bit more work because you need a two-piece system you need something waterproof over it and also um, it requires a little bit of folding to either fold it onto your baby or fold it into a cover but people are really intimidated by both plat flats and prefolds but they really are not challenging at all and honestly like these two things are with my son, I used mostly prefolds, and with my daughter, I've been using mostly flats, and they're really, like, just wonderful. <laughs> they're really nothing to be afraid of. So YouTube's got tons of good information about how to use them. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is called a fitted diaper, and it's essentially like a prefold, but it's already, like, folded up and ready. So it's already in the right shape, and then it comes with some type of closure system, so you can just fold it right onto your baby. But again, it is not waterproof, so you need a <clears throat> waterproof cover over the top to keep it from soaking through and getting onto your baby's clothes. Um, you'll see 
fitteds um, in different types of materials. And again, I said I'm not going to go too much into different types of materials, but more commonly you'll see fitteds that are like more kind of like pretty <laughs> like this, like this has a different um, fabric over the top. And um, the reason I wanted to show you this one too is you'll often see something called a hybrid fitted. And a hybrid fitted means that there is a layer of fleece or sometimes um, a waterproof material like PUL or TPU sewn in between like the outer cotton and the inner absorbent part so that it is more waterproof so that it doesn't necessarily require a cover. So if you see the hybrid fitted, that means you can use this like all on its own, but it's not like 100% waterproof, but it's more waterproof. But just like a standard fitted that isn't a hybrid fitted, pros are that it's a natural fiber, so it is a little bit easier to clean. It's good for baby, good for the environment. Cons are that fitteds tend to be pretty, um, pretty thick, and so they um, aren't as easy to get clean thoroughly, and then they take longer to dry. And they're often quite expensive, especially considering it's a two-piece system. Fitteds, you know, they really range, but I would say on average, like $20. And then you have to have a cover to go over the top, and you can reuse the cover as long as it doesn't have poop on it, you know, a few times. But it's still pretty spendy, but <clears throat> that's another option for that. And a lot of times with fitted, um, you'll see people using wool covers over the top. So you can use a waterproof cover like this or you can use fleece or wool. All right, so the next type is called an all-in-two diaper. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Similar to those, they require two pieces. They'll typically come with a shell and an insert. And this particular kind has snaps in it. So you would take your insert and then you could snap it in, use it on the baby. And then as long as this doesn't get poop on it or on the outside, then you can take the insert, take it off, get a clean one, snap it back in, and reuse the shell again. So all in twos are nice because it's a pretty like compact system. So it's nice if you're traveling or just like out on the go or if you don't have a lot of space in your house or whatnot. It just doesn't require a lot of things because you don't need as many like full diapers. Like you can reuse the shell, you know, a handful of times as long as it doesn't get poop on it. <clears throat> and then the inserts are pretty small, so um, <clears throat> you don't have to buy as many things, so it's more economical, and it's just less things because it's just, like, more compact. And um, some drawbacks to this are um, that some people don't want to deal with the extra step of having to, like, every change to have to, like, switch something out if it's not just, like, already ready. Or if it does get poop on it, then you have to... You know, you can't reuse it, so then it doesn't make it as economical. So those are really the only, like, big down, downsides I can think of. And then you'll sometimes see something called a hybrid all-in-two or, like, a hybrid system. And that's different than a hybrid fitted, which means something waterproof is sewn in. A hybrid all-in-two means that the system sells something um, that can be disposable. So, like, it'll they'll sell, like, a disposable insert and it basically looks like a giant maxi pad so you just put that in and then instead of washing this and reusing it you would just um, throw it in the trash and some of them are compo compost com <laughs> what's that word compostable so um <clears throat> so that's that's what the hybrid means is that you can um toss the inside so that's good for traveling if you're into that Next system is a very popular system. This is already getting long, ah! which is a pocket diaper. And a pocket diaper, it already has the waterproof attached, and then it has an inside layer that most of the time is a stay dry layer that keeps the baby feeling dry. And then there's an actual pocket, which much makes it a pocket. So you stuff the insert inside of it. So these generally come with a microfiber insert. I use flats. You can stuff flats in there. You can stuff prefolds in there. You can stuff for sleeping blankets in there. You can stuff whatever you want in there. But a pocket just means it's open and you stick the absorbency in. Pros to this system are once it's all stuffed and ready, it's just like really easy to take on and take off. So caregivers can easily pick it up. Um, it... <clears throat> 
Like, I think that's just the biggest pro. <laughs> um, some negatives about this are you have to stick your um, hand in right here to pull the insert out before you put it um, to store before you wash it. A few brands, they'll like the insert will agitate out on its own in the wash, but that's not as typical. So you need to remove that, which is a con and it can be a little bit spendier. You're probably going to spend like around $20 for a pocket. So it's not like as economical as the flats and prefolds or the hybrid system where you can keep reusing the shell because this shell is just a one-time use for these. So, um, but for a lot of people, the advantage of just having like an easy on off thing is totally worth it. I like these. Um, and another disadvantage though, is that you do have to like do the prep work ahead of time and like stuff them all. So the last like big thing you'll see is called an all in one which means that everything is just like completely right here. So it's, you've got the waterproof material on the outside, you've got the absorbent inner, and it's just all connected in one piece. There's just like nothing to do to it. This is called a snake style insert where you can just fold it in like so. So um, the big advantage is super obvious. Is it's like just here. You just put it on the baby, take it off the baby, put it in the pail. Anyone can do it. It's just like a disposable in that means you just don't put it in the garbage, you just wash it. Um, but there are like quite a few downsides to all-in-ones. Um, I think a lot of people get really excited about the idea of it just being so easy, but um, I don't love all-in-ones because a lot of reasons. One, they are not economical, they are quite expensive. So all-in-ones, I mean, this particular one is $31. Typically, all-in-ones are gonna like cost you 25, 30 bucks. Um, and they are not easy to clean because um, the part of the absorbent part, they come in different configurations, but is attached to the shell. So water can't go all the way through this out the other side and really penetrate through when it's washing. It gets stuck against the waterproof backing. So like it's not really getting all that clean. Um, so look for ones if you do want all the ones that are thinner in this area. Only This one only has two layers, so that's better. Um, and they take a long time to dry because they're typically pretty um, pretty thick in the absorbent area. And again, everything just can't go through. So um, convenient, yes, but expensive, yes. And think if it's not easy to clean, I mean, that's like a huge downslide. Like stinky diapers is just a mess. The last thing I'm going to show you quickly is a swim diaper just because there's a lot of misconceptions about cloth swim diapers and just swim diapers in general. So a swim diaper is not absorbent at all. It's like nothing because it's not meant to absorb because if you got into a swimming pool with a diaper and just filled with water, that would just be like a really heavy thing in your pants. So the purpose of a swim diaper is to keep poop inside the diaper so that it doesn't get into the pool or into the lake or contaminate things. So, um, Cloth swim diapers, it's just, it looks like basically like a diaper shell. There's just a mesh interior here so it's comfortable when it's wet. It, they come in different materials though. But basically, it's not meant to absorb anything, it's just meant to keep the poop inside the diaper. So, that's just like a, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. That's just like a basic quick overview of some different types, some pros and cons. I try to keep it as brief as I could. Um, let me know if you have any questions and I'd be happy to help and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.